Well, families worried about where they will get their next meal from found life even more challenging during the pandemic. Out of that need, community refrigerators started to pop up around the city stocked with meals. Well, a 10 year old was so touched by the program, he wanted to do something to help out. Here's Lauren Glassberg with more. Between dribbling, foul shots, layups, and school, fourth grader Rogan Yadgard finds time to make this city his city a better place. It makes me feel happy when I see other people happy. Recently, he and his family, who live on the Upper West Side, volunteered with the Mott Haven Fridge Network. The organization stocks community refrigerators with free food. It also distributes food to shelters and directly to families. It all made an impression on Rogan. I put myself in their shoes and I'm like, I want to do more to help this because I would feel terrible if I didn't have enough food to eat. He's extremely empathetic and um, as soon as we finished volunteering, he asked what can he do next? We talked about it and then before I knew it, he was calling me to his room to look at something and he built a whole website. A website that highlights organizations doing good. He calls it the Rogan Project and his first goal is to help the Mott Haven Fridge Network buy a refrigerated truck. Rogan is my Santa Claus. This is, a, this is an amazing kid. Dan Sauterer began the Mott Haven Fridge Network during the pandemic. He was teaching in the Bronx and saw so many of his students dealing with food insecurities, issues that Rogan learned about while volunteering. I think that it was him interacting directly with the community. He's right next to community members that are then going to take that food and feed their own families. So this is about neighbors helping neighbors. That refrigerated truck costs $75,000. In less than two weeks, Rogan has raised 8,500. He's aiming for 10,000 and he isn't stopping there. I mostly focused on Mont Haven Fridge, but I had some other ideas like the Ukraine and homelessness to help. A 10 year old with a playbook filled with kindness.